That is New Rock First from Anne Berlin off the album City. It's called The Unwinding Cable Car. Little did I know that Stephanie loves that song. I do. I although love it, that band. Yeah, yeah, although it brings up some memories. We'll just forget all about those. I do want to talk about um, your criminal record. Yeah. Now, you had a situation with the police at a gas station where you and a, a few friends were playing airsoft? I was actually at the studio. Oh, I thought it was at a gas station. Well, the cop was at a gas station. Oh, okay, okay. Next so to the studio. Go ahead, tell the story about right. airsoft and the cops. Well, you see, the guys were laying down guitars, so I didn't need to be in there. So I remembered that I had an airsoft gun in my car, um, and one of the guys and I went outside, and we were shooting a Starbucks cup on a pole with a, an airsoft gun with clear plastic, orange tip, orange plastic pellets, let it be known. Um, and it was my turn, I was winning, and the guy, Andrew, who was with me, goes, just very calmly, Steph, there's a cop. And I was like, don't distract me. And he goes, no, he's uh, pulling his gun. So I turn, I mean, he's just so nonchalant about it, and I turn, and there's a cop about 15 feet away from me, coming through the bushes in between the gas station and the studio. Like coming, like, commando through the bushes or something? Kind of, yeah. His, wow. gun, his gun was out, um, and as soon as he saw that I saw him, he yells, do you have a weapon? Okay, I'm rather naive <laughs> sometimes, and I think, this is so easy, right? Uh -huh. Once he sees the gun, he'll know it's just a toy. So I turn, gun still in hand, um, to give him a better look, and I said, yeah, and I wave at him. I say, it's just an airsoft gun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, officer, he, I have a gun. His gun was already drawn, oh. right? So I basically waved the gun at him like, yeah, no big deal, it's an airsoft gun, hey! <laughs> Oh, man. The gun that's already drawn, he cocks it, gets in stance position. I'm looking down the barrel of his loaded gun. Oh, no. Um, and he yells at the top of his gun, drop your weapon. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I drop it, I throw it, and I step back. I mean, that is something I had never experienced, looking down the barrel of a loaded gun. So he holds me at gunpoint, walks towards me, picks up the gun, then he puts his gun away, and his whole demeanor changes. He was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just sorry. a toy. Yeah. <laughs> So he reprimands me, um, leaves, comes back 20 minutes later with backup. What? Yeah. Calls me back outside in front of everyone at the studio. Studio shuts down. Everyone comes outside. Cameras are out. Everyone's like, look at Steph with the cop. So <laughs> everybody's outside uh, having their afternoon show. And he tickets me for $125. What? For having a gun, get this, that was capable of shooting metal pellets. I wasn't. But he told me to take it to court and fight it at court. So Did you? No. Let it go. I, I paid because court fees were the same as the ticket. Okay. So I ended up talking to the chief of police about how the situation was handled. But it all smoothed over. Toby wants a, a copy of the ticket for the studio. And I named my publishing company Trigger Happy Cop Publishing after that <laughs> experience. That's so fun. <laughs> Speaking of Toby, segue. Yeah. What's his, uh, his favorite drink of his? Now, he used to work at Starbucks. Yep. Yeah, yep. so I am your girl next door. I will serve you a latte if you come into Starbucks <laughs> in Franklin, Tennessee. There you go. So if you're in Franklin, Tennessee, yeah. you hit every Starbucks they've got there. Should they have like right. 48. About 30, yeah. yeah. Eventually you'll <laughs> find Stephanie working behind the counter. That's one right. Of them. And uh, I guess Toby comes by your... He's a regular. And yeah. what's this special drink he has? He walks in, Mr. Toby Mack, and he has um, this drink. He goes, give me a Taj Mahal. A Taj? It's yeah. not even on, it's not even it's on. Not on the menu, no. However, he's petitioning to put it on the menu. <laughs> Let me tell you what this drink consists of. Go ahead. It is an iced venti, three quarters decaf, non-fat, light ice, one scoop malt, one pump mocha latte. I so, can't even imagine how you make that. Yeah. One pump what? One pump mocha. One pump mocha. One scoop malt, non-fat milk, light ice. There's four shots in it. Thir three of them are decaf. One is regular. What? Three? What? He likes the strong coffee taste, but he only wants a little of the caffeine. So, well, yeah, he's, I get it. Well, he's a man that knows what he wants. When you're told, <laughs> you can order whatever you, you can want. Order I whatever you want. <laughs> and we make it. Yeah. If you want there to order the Burger King Big Mac or whatever, you can go, go get, get it. Exactly. Right. Toby, yeah. so. And he knows that. <laughs> That's so funny. I love you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's your boss. <laughs> he you writes your checks. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Toby. I didn't say that. I love you, Toby. This is going to be on YouTube or an email to him. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much for spending time with us tonight. I really appreciate it. I love being here. Check her out online. She is a girl dot com. Stephanie. Oh, is Stephanie a girl. is a girl. Okay, Stephanie is a girl dot com. Also on MySpace dot com forward slash Stephanie Smith Music. Mm -hmm. The single is out now. Superstar. You can get it on iTunes. Go download it a thousand times. Stephanie, thank you for stopping by. Thank you.